morning, folks. Just picked up Andrew behind the camera today. We're headed to Indy Motorsports Ranch, which is down in beyond Tucson and behind some mountains. I don't, I don't know. It's a private racetrack that Tyler from Dynamic Tin invited me to. I've never taken my own car to the racetrack. This is a BMW M2. It's a 2018 LCI model. So we're taking that. They have Cavens there. They have an M4. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we're going to make a great video for you, and I hope you enjoy it. guy just filled up his tractor is amazing look like woody yeah we're, we're about 60 miles from the track uh just getting some extra fuel in before we get there almost there quick piss stop at the pit stop be on our way what what a billboard the thing no clue no clue what it is but it's the thing i mean talk about clickbait that's real life clickbait this is where clickbait began. Aliens versus dinosaurs, it says. got here to the ranch there's the m4 it looks like hello on, how you doing you found it huh? i found it nice. we came right to it. this place is beautiful it's pretty cool yeah the, ce yeah. the scenic driving up here right um, yeah so where do you want us to go just go uh, let me whip around okay i'm gonna lead you by the front office i'll take you guys both in and uh introduce you to like Brittany and them in there and we'll okay. sign the property waiver okay and then i'll i'll take you down towards the shop and we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there awesome sounds yeah. good i'll wait yeah. for you to turn around yep yeah so it looks like we're gonna be driving that m4 at some point i'll obviously be driving this m2 i don't know how hard i want to be on it the track looks amazing it's gonna be a fun day. Well, the guys here were nice enough to get the M2 all cleaned up, so they just hand washed the whole thing, which I didn't expect them to do, but they did. So it's gonna look great out on the track and next to the M4. So we're just gonna get some shots now in the garage area of the of the M2. So our shop is also our facilities team. Okay. So when this track goes hot, these guys also a car goes off track and we need to stop the track, have it cleaned up. They're also the ones that jump on the blower on the so tow busy. truck. They're busy all day long. Here at Indy, because it's members only, it's not near as busy all the time to where these guys take care of it all. Yeah. So when the track goes hot, one goes to the tower, one goes to the flag stand, and there's two or three guys that are kind of working on things in here, mm -hmm. and then if need be, can run out, grab the blower, grab the tow truck, go out, facilitate rescuing a car, and then they come back to, to what the task at hand was in the shop. Yeah, that's really yep. cool. So they're very versed in everything that goes on around here, around the facility and on track. What they um, did here before we went on the track, they lowered the tire pressure to uh, 28. Uh, they washed the car up, like I said, and then they checked the torque spec um, on all the wheels. So really nice of them to do that. Again, I drive this thing on the street all the time like a princess. Now it's actually gonna get to go on the track and it's properly prepped for that. So they have a member car back there. It looks like a Z4M uh, that they're working on, but yeah, just, Really cool facility. I just got done in the bathroom, so now I'm track light. I'm super legera for the Indy Motorsports track, but they have a car out there lapping right now. It has two Hayabusa motors into it and has a power to weight ratio of like an F3 car. So, oh my God. Already just uh, listening uh, to our instructor talk about even the tires on my car and, and the differences of why they would be good or not good on the track. This is such a cool experience and I'm happy I can share this with all of you. So we're gonna go over here now. We're gonna be heading onto the track shortly. 
We have to do like a quick training session, how to enter and exit the track, expectations of what to do if you're if a wreck or whatever. Um, so we're gonna be doing that shortly, but right now I'm just enjoying the sound of that, that motor. After seeing that thing go by, my, uh, my M2 feels like a Prius. started breathing again. So we just got done eating lunch out here. It's a little bit windy today. Uh, so we're gonna step inside. Pam is currently in the kitchen here. They just made an amazing meal for us. It was great. Uh, so all first class facilities, everything about this place is extremely clean. The first class service, there's no one here today and it's totally private. And when you're paying the type of money to be a member at this, pl this type of a place, that's what you're gonna want. So. Pam, thank you for the lunch today. It was, it's been amazing. But again, just clean, really enjoying it. And I needed a meal after my session on the track out there. Nick, the instructor, is in front of me. I can see him through the tent in his car, and he's just la having a conversation with Tyler, laughing, and I'm back there sweating out of my back and just sweat running down my face. Uh, very humbling experience to be out on the track and just uh, show how much of an amateur I actually am. But. We are gonna head up to the garage to check out some of the paddocks up there to see what's stored inside um, and just give you more of a view of the entire facility. So we're in one of the private garages here at Indy Motorsports Ranch. They were nice enough to open it up for us and show us kind of what it looks like inside. Again, if you're a member here, you're able to have something like this. I mean, you can see they have all these radicals here. There's a GT3 over in the corner. Uh, there's a ZL1 Camaro up here on the lift. And we were talking, it was kind of laughing just now that even the snap-on toolboxes here have a coilover suspension. So, I mean, you know, they're, they're not messing around here. It's just beautiful. The, the floors are finished nicely. You have all the tools. You have air room if you want to bring a crew down here to work on your cars or use their crew. Uh, we got some street bikes in the background. Like I said before, just the privacy of this place, that's kind of what you're paying for. It's so nice to come down here and have a place to vacation and relax and there's not crowds of people and traffic and all that stuff. It's your, it's your place to enjoy and that's what we're really getting to experience today. Uh, but these radicals are amazing. You saw a couple of them pass on the track. They sound unreal. One of them, I don't remember which one, has two Hayabusa engines inside making about 400 horsepower. It's just endless, the level of car you can get to um, out on the racetrack. It's also very funny, driving my M2 out there is like, I was like laughing. It has leather steering wheel. My hands are slipping off the wheel. They're slipping off the shifter. I basically stay in third gear around the entire track. So it's just, it's very funny to think when you're on the street, oh, I have this cool car. It's an M performance, whatever. You get to the track and you see how it's so far from a race car or a true track performance car, it's really a street car. It's a good perspective to have to know, okay, this is a street car, this is a track car, and there's a huge difference. different drivers at all times right they're a team that then drivers rent or buy a ride for the year or I think they field one car they feel the driver and then there's two or three different drivers that buy a ride to run hmm. with them for the season type of deal got it yeah 
is their goal like to move up to then Formula Four, Formula Three, Formula Two? So or they field they... both. They form they field Formula Three and Formula Four out of this shop. Okay. So it just depends on driver experience and who's driving which car type of deal. Okay. And then uh, and then they kind of move on from there. Cool. Just depends on what they're you know what they're looking to do. The driver is looking to do after that type of deal, but they do a lot of testing here, and that was one of the big things with. This was one of the situations that might have gone away had we not redone the track surface because they were having to raise ride heights on cars so much because of the track surface diminishing and then bottoming out that it was like it almost became not really worth it for them to test here. Yeah. So then after the new surface has been put down, it's like phenomenal for testing. So they're so everybody's staying. Hmm. Right. But these guys have been here for three, four years or so. Welcome to my casita. Come on in. So this is a members only thing. This is a casita. You can see right here, opens right up to the racetrack. This is a two bedroom and it also right behind Andrew, there's another door there that joins rooms. So if you were a member here, you came down with your family or whatever, you have this whole living space, full kitchen, two bedrooms, walk-in shower. This is beautiful, look at this. Wow, this is, the whole facility so far is unbelievable. The facilities are great and it's all members. They do have events here, but it's mainly for the members to enjoy. This is one of the packages includes getting a couple nights with the casitas. It's, it's really well done. All right, so we're about to head out on the track with Nick. This is who I was struggling to keep up with back there is he's, I don't know what you guys were doing in here, having a quiet meeting and I'm, you know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> we but anyways, conversating. Yeah, you were conversating yeah. and yeah. I was, you know, racing. We're just talking about, you know, life's endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> I put my heart and soul into my driving. <laughs> oh God, that was funny. <laughs> so yeah, we're headed out onto the track now to, uh, Watch how a professional driver does it, maybe learn a thing or two. Yes, and, and also the track was just repaved. That's correct. So you can see here that, I mean, it's so smooth. And for the teams that test here, that's a huge benefit to them because they can run it at a race level, right? The suspension and everything Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, yeah, they can, run the, they can run the cars a lot closer to race trim um, instead of having to um, put a setup on them that's very unrealistic to where they would run the cars on race day and that it, kind of diminishes the realistic side of the testing. Right. Also, M, M Heritage Edition, one of 750. Yes, yeah, so this is my um, this is my chief instructor car. Okay, chief instructor. This is what I use uh, on the daily while I'm down here. It's been set up, not much changed, but a few different things to uh, adjust just so that it puts up with the wear and tear of being out on track on a regular basis. Likelihood of keeping up with this car is yeah. pretty low, but we can uh, do it for a little while. <laughs> yeah. chicken sandwich coming up through my esophagus. <laughs> hey, uh, it's still good the second time. It is, that's true, that's fair. <laughs> Interested to see how good their image stabilization is here. I know. See, this is where I lose you here. I cannot hang with you on this turn. Trying to focus for you. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
This car is impressive. It does a really good job, man. Oh, Being a nice piece. Crown Concepts helps take care of it for us with yep. braking and uh, all the brake upgrades. That was kind of their deal with the sponsorship on the side. Okay. Um, Joey and Ron and Eric and those guys over at Crown Concepts do a great job for us here in Indy, taking care of our members as well as us. I can feel my brain moving. I'm just surprised how that thing's sticking. I mean, yeah, the way you rotate this thing. Funny is that just with you guys in here, you can it rotates it. in the rear even more. So like, I I have to wait a little bit longer to put power down just because the weight of the rear is coming around it more. Yeah. before I induce the skid mm. because that corner's so tight like when I'm entering it third I can't keep enough speed in it sliding in third to keep wheel spin and not like slide off the track right right so I had to enter slow enough that it would let me have the downshift a second so I could initiate in second and then when I got them really spinning hard and it's been up in the middle of the corner grab third and then just bury my foot to where I could have the wheel spin in third yeah. to drive us all the way to 17 right wow but when I don't when I enter in third and it won't keep the wheel spin 
the auto the transmission doesn't really like to be downshifted then yeah it doesn't like give it to you right away so it's like you got to enter in second get them spinning grab third and then it let me drive all the way out of and it third, third gives you the torque that you need to god, get god i hope he got that one i know yeah, yeah, sure he, uh, no, he did i saw that one beautiful yeah. so i'm about to head out on the track with nick in my m2 uh, we have dsc fully turned off um, so that removes the auto blip because he's a professional driver. He knows how to heel toe, rev match, downshift, all of that type of things uh, that I would be terrible at. So luckily the car does it for me, but uh, here we go. Hey. The track is hot. Track is hot. Unless you want it down. Uh, that's good for now. Maybe we'll do, we'll do like half and half. Yeah, you just tell me. Put the skids off the track. <laughs> Yeah, I'm interested to see like what you think of like because the car is stock. Yeah. So to see what you're. And I I can tell you I've never had um I've never had a manual car. Yeah, yeah, I know. There it is. Never had a manual one out here yet. Adam's M2's auto and my car's auto. So yeah. I haven't had a new BMW out here manual transmission yeah. yet to even play with. felt on the track was my front was pushing a little, the front yeah. was giving a little bit and more so than anything dude that's gonna be that tire yeah you know it's just it's only gonna put up with it it's only gonna put up with the lateral transfer for so long mm -hmm. until that outside edge of the tire starts to give up yeah and this has a little shorter wheelbase than the M4 yeah, yeah. still feel good we didn't smoke those today. that's good that's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah driving home is gonna be boring i know <laughs> you're gonna be like you're racing everybody on the freeway <laughs> get out of the way 75 is gonna feel like 75 nothing 75 the whole uh, way are you kidding me yeah like what is going on So it's like you hear the tire squeal like you did on mine. Yeah. But it doesn't matter if I turn the wheel anymore or not. It ain't turning anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's the only difference. It's small. Okay. It's slight. It's just like, and once you know what it is, you can really feel it. It's like yeah. you have good rotation, good rotation, and then it's like, oh, it's just not going to do it anymore. Right. All done. All done. I see what you mean about the curbs. Some are meant to throw you back on the track. Yeah. Some are. Others are meant to get more speed. Some are to kind of set track limits. Right. Uh -huh. Where if you gave them a flat curb, they would use it, and it kind of changed. What we didn't want was, we didn't want the curbing to change um, the integrity or how unique some of the corners are. Mm -hmm. So if I felt like by changing the style of curb, it was going to uh, change the uniqueness of the corner and kind of what makes Indy Motorsports Ranch track what it is, right. then we... We might have changed the style, but it was still a style that set track limits. Where others, like this core, this um, curb never existed. Yeah. And we, it was like, man, really needs a curb there. This one here was wedged, now it's rolled, so you right. can get on it like we are now and yep. use it. That's flat, that was there. These were all wedged, now they're rolled. We'll run the chicane. So the chicane had curbs in it that couldn't be used by a car. Yeah. Or now you can, right? Yeah. You can actually get through there at a at a really decent pace that yeah. doesn't upset the car, but it still kind of sets those track limits. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's real. I just I never knew to even, knew to even think about a curve, you know? Like yeah. just learning those little nuances. It's so cool.
breaks down a little yeah. bit here. Because it doesn't, that's the thing, is it doesn't take much to get, yeah. Like, it doesn't take many laps at a real high pace to create that glaze on yeah. a soft pad, right? We're up yeah. to this point, we haven't done it yet, so I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't want it. I don't want you yeah. rolling out of here. And no, you got, yeah. You got brake chatter you didn't have before, and you're yeah. like, oh man, I need to have rotors turned, and I need to, you know, need a new set of pads. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's, yeah. yeah, thanks for taking it out too. This hey, is no uh, problem, this is cool. It's, uh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah, dude. I love getting the shift. Yes, yeah. It's like, I mean, and it adds a level, in my opinion, in in the craft that that we do here. It adds a level of difficulty that drivers yes. just simply don't have to. They don't have to learn anymore. Oh you know? yeah, it's a tool in their toolbox. They don't have to have to be able to do this. They can just come out. They can learn the track. They can let the car shift themselves if they want, and yep. they still get around pretty good. Where, I mean, it never used to be that way. You had to know, you had to be at least um, mildly proficient in a manual yeah. to begin with, and then you had to learn how to shift it at a performance level with a heel toe downshift yeah. to be able to not upset the car while you're out here doing all of this. Yeah, and it is, as I was trying to follow you, I was like, okay, should I grab a gear? It's another thing to Absolutely. think about. It's like, well, the car's about to throw this way and I have to try and grab the shifter. Yep. G-forces, yeah. It's and there's there's a whole tactic to it. So like when I'm training someone um, in a manual transmission, like if you and I got more time to spend together to yeah. really learn how to get your car around there pro um, proficiently, yeah. then we would talk about how you should do, you know, all of my shifts, if you notice, all my down shifts were in a straight line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So in the braking zone, make your downshift happen while you're braking in the straight line so that it doesn't have an adverse effect on our transition from braking into the corner to transition to power. We're already in the gear we want to be in. Yeah. Where when you're not comfortable making shifts at that point and rev matching them while carrying braking pressure, then there comes the instance where, okay, now we're getting into a second gear corner and third, we're slowing the drivetrain RPM down enough that we can just like drop it into second. But yeah. then we're not really, we had to over slow to do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where when you learn to shift in the straight lines, it's just one of those things that you're already in the gear you want to be in, you're ready to go, boom, yeah. right back to power. Yeah, that's amazing. Very cool. Cool. Well, it's been a blast, man. Yeah. Thanks no, for thanks again. I thanks appreciate for coming it. down and yeah. spending some time with yeah, us. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's an so honor to be fun. down here. Yeah, this is this has been great. Um, Played yeah. your toy a little bit. We yeah. went out and threw mine around. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, throw <laughs> that one. That was BMW passes the test. It does. Absolutely. BMW. I have a new appreciation really for that M4 and the transmission, the way they can handle what you put it through out there. Yeah. I mean, the shifts were precise, and it, yeah, that, I have just a totally new appreciation for what these cars can handle from the factory, because, yeah, that's it's impressive. Well, and give yourself some credit, right, with small amount of, of instruction leading into it, and with the right mindset. That's as much for me as as anything, for anybody that that wants to come out and do this, it's have the understanding that there's a way to go about it properly, and there's yep. a way to go about it improperly, and yeah. if we have that right mindset and we're thinking about managing the managing the vehicle dynamics and using our eyes to our advantage that we can do it in a short period of time yeah. at a pretty decent level and have good control the whole time yeah i mean you know? we we picked up pace quick oh yeah it was two three laps and then it's like oh okay we're rolling now we're hitting 100 on the straight yeah 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 that was awesome so <laughs> we're currently on the back of the truck here heading up to an outlook point on the uh, indie ranch property i'm still like trying to gather words after that lap that we just took drifting around the track uh, but there's an outlook up here that has glass and a fire pit just where you can go and relax when you come here to visit again this is a retreat for people to enjoy um, and this is just another another perk that they have set up the whole the hospitality of the day i mean insane yeah th we're going up to the top of the mountain we'll show you the outlook here shortly Brittany set these up for you guys. Wow, this is awesome. Andrew, you got your own too. Yeah, just, yeah nice. Yeah. Yeah, Nick, thank you so much hey. for everything you've done for us. Today. No really problem, man. Yeah, like it's, we really appreciate it. It's so. been a pleasure having you guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, all your instruction on course, and uh, I kept lunch down, so that's been that's yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was great. Um, yeah, yeah, go for it. Just. Oh man. 
Look at that. Dude, it's a sick hat. So these were, Brittany added all the cool stuff, okay. all the extra, but uh, these are just kind of cool to have. We gave them to all of our founding members. This is um, original track surface. Oh, wow. So we jarred. This is like big in the dirt world. Like when you lose a dirt track, like guys carry jars of like old Ascot Speedway and stuff like that. Oh, so nice. it's pretty cool to just have kind of a memento to go by like, yeah. Oh yeah, I have a piece of, I have a piece of Indy Motorsports ranch at my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh wow, Link Soul shirts? Holy cow. <laughs> so I play golf, so this is yeah, perfect. Like perfect. this is money. Wow. Thank Everybody you. has to play golf at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at some point. It's a good business opportunity. It, is. You know it I mean? absolutely yeah. is. Plus you get halfway lit and then you tell all the cool secrets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are so nice. That's how you get business done. Exactly. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Andrew and I just had a blast uh, coming down here today. Again, thank you to Tyler at Dynamic Tint for inviting us down, and then Nick for taking us out on the track. Nick is the chief driving instructor, and then Adam Powell is the head of business development. So if you're interested in having a membership here, reach out to Adam. I'll have his information down in the description below. The hospitality of this place has been incredible. The track is in perfect shape. It's private, it's in a remote location. I really can't think of a better option as far as wanting to get away from everyone, drive your car, your bike, your race car, and just enjoy motorsport in a peaceful location. The place that we went to on top of the hill there that had the glass around it, you can. there's no light pollution out here, so you can enjoy the stars at night. Just can't say thank you enough. Everyone was very gracious. The food was amazing. Um, I'm just happy I kept it down through some of those laps out there. And then having Nick take my M2 out and seeing how it can actually perform on a track was very fun. It was an amazing day. If you're interested in memberships here, all the information is down below. If you ever get a chance to come here, drop everything and come here because it's, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. So. That's all I have for you today. Please like the video if you are still with me. Andrew and I put a ton of work into this. I'm not looking forward to the editing that we're about to do, uh, but it's gotta happen. It's all in 4K and I hope you appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. In case you're wondering, uh, the, this is what I had. I had the Barcelona Circuit grilled chicken breast. It was, it was amazing. Um, I can agree to that. Andrew agrees as well. Uh, highly recommend. Um, didn't want to get a hot dog, but you can see there's Yas Marina, Silverstone. They have them named after different tracks. I went with Barcelona. Very good.